Derek, congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, obviously, you got to have that, you know, your first one right out of the gate in Bellator, right? What a freaking introduction to a new promotion. I have like one of the toughest chicks in the entire division. So. Um, unless I'm doing the math wrong, you got a 10 8 from a couple judges, right? So, yeah, you know, uh, I was a little surprised. I, I tried to utilize elbows, but I was a little surprised of a 10 8 because she did a great job of tying me up and staying in good position. And, you know, like, I was really uh, impressed with her ground skills and her ability to like shut down my offense. I really wanted a lot more offense than what I, what I did. That said the first two rounds, I mean, pretty much kind of a mauling, right? I mean, you really took it at her in a lot of different ways. W was that part of the game plan, I guess, was to come out um, and just kind of be ag aggressive and, and, and try and get after her early and for any reason whatsoever. So no, I just, in my head, I, I, I scouted her. I knew how tough she was. I just expected the entire fight to be a high, hard pace from both ends. So um, that was the pace that I expected. And I knew either she was going to set or I was going to set it. But even if I was the one who like pushed the pace there, I knew she'd be game for it. How many knees did you throw there in that second round with about a minute left? <laughs> oh, man. About like a dozen. Don't ask fighters to count. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at punching faces. I'm I'm decent at math, but man in the cage, I was just like, I, I could hear him warning her. And I was like, I was just trying to get a finish, but God dang, she's freaking tough. And obviously you felt the toughness early on in the third. So I'm, I guess, yeah. how bad did she clip you? How were you, were you hurt badly at all? And was that just a, a matter of riding the ship and getting your wits back about you for, you know, in the, in the few seconds that it took you and then getting control back again? So I didn't feel it any worse in the third because when she connected in the other two rounds, like she hits hard, you know, like I felt both of those two. It's just that one. I was like, all right, she's got to get a knockout and she's going to try. So I better be really intelligent. Mm -hmm. um, we talked a few weeks ago in San Jose about the cyborg situation. We talked about it again a couple of days ago. Now that you've got this one, mm -hmm. you're past it. It's under mm -hmm. your belt. Now you, you got to have like a, a, a goal line, right? I'm, and, and if she's not here and you don't know what's going on with her, what do you kind of use for your, what's the end zone for you if you don't know what's going on with the champ in, the, in your new division? So I think that, I think it would be great to beat Cyborg to be the Bellator champion. Like that in my heart is what I kind of, when I came to this division, like that is what I'd set my heart on. That to me is like such a, worthy accomplishment, you know, and I have total respect for her and I still want to beat her. But man, if she's making different decisions as far as financially or what direction, I can't sit around and wait, you know, I'm not like, I'm not 22, I'm 42. I'm going to fight who they put in front of me and the division shouldn't wait for her forever. She's a dominant champion, but you know, like they should have a, re a real belt after a certain period of time. And then she should have to come back and, and earn the belt. I just think that that like, for me, I think of it like I'll fight her sooner or I'll fight her later. That's just. Do you, where do you put her? Um, not to pivot too far away from from what you just did in there, but where do you put her? I guess in terms of the all time greats uh, on the women's side of things. I mean, obviously oh, yeah. you want to beat her. I mean, is she number one for you? Is she number two? Uh, you know, I never really thought about it. Uh, there's been a lot of really amazing women fighters, so I think like top three to top five. You know, it's just tough because when you have different weight divisions and you have people sometimes fighting at 140 and you know, like you just never know. Um, sometimes she's fought girls who were truly 135ers and those wins are, are a little bit different than fighting another solid 145er. You know, it's just, it's just different. So then speaking of the weight, last one for me is uh, how good did you feel in there this week at 45 compared to all the years you spent at 35 and then how much nicer was the first, you know, the, the last four or five days leading up to, to tonight knowing that you didn't have that extra 10 that you had to worry about. Yeah. I can say like, I can say not dehydrating absolutely made a difference. Not in my mindset. Cause in the third round of every fight, I'm like, we got to go. But when you're hydrated, I'm telling my body, we got to go. And then it just freaking went, you know, like, so that's a huge difference. And to me, like I, maybe I should have made this decision earlier. I don't know. Uh, I always felt good at 135, 
But now that I'm at 45, like I know I'm strong enough to handle the difference in their weight. And I just stay where I feel the best. I probably don't even, I probably weigh 146 right now, but I move the best and I, my body feels good. And I don't care if I'm like four pounds heavier, five pounds heavier. It's just where I fight the best. Yes. Hey, Sarah, Kay Williams for Can Chronicles Media. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Um, it seems as though you and your team really read the scouting report on Arlene because you were basically able to take away her strong suit of stand-up. Can you talk to that? Oh, I mean, my team and I have the utmost respect for her striking and her toughness. We knew that going in. We knew the second they offered me the fight, exactly where the battleground was going to be. And we're not like a, oh, no, we have to, we have to avoid that area. We got to take it here. We're like, we're going to win it in her area. And then we're going to crush her in our area. And that was the only option. So that's what we've been training. What are some of your takeaways from tonight's win? Even though you win, you won, excuse me, as far as maybe loopholes in your game, things that you want to improve for the next match. Um, I still feel like I would like to uh, work in my range better. I feel like I would like to close the distance a little bit faster. I feel like I'd like to get my angle a little bit better when they're attacking, things like that. It's all it's all small things. I've been doing this for a really long time, but those little tiny things, the which way I circle, you know, stuff like that, like all of that makes a difference. But overall, I was really happy with my performance. And one last question. Was there anything about Arlene's game tonight that may have surprised you out there? Uh, she tied me up really well when it came to the grappling. Like I'm usually able to hand fight and clear my arms. And, um, she was just very intelligent in how she kind of stymied me a little bit. So I was, uh, I was definitely impressed with that. She's strong as shit too. Sorry. I, no, I shouldn't cuss, but she's really strong. Congratulations on your Bellator debut. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And can I say something? I love you, Hawaii. I'm 3-0 and here, and this is one of my favorite places to fight. And it's not just because it's gorgeous. It's because that this fighting warrior spirit, and it kind of it gets my blood pumping. So I want to come back here more. I want to train more. It's a great place.